Have you ever wondered why we feel the way we do? Why some encounters leave us with a profound sense of joy or a deep well of sorrow? Do you ponder over why a piece of music can stir up such strong emotions, or why a simple smell can transport you back in time? These questions allude to a complex interplay of human emotions and feelings. To comprehend these intricate dynamics, we must venture into the captivating world of affect theory. Well, to understand these emotions and feelings, we delve into the world of affect theory. Affect theory, a fascinating field of study, seeks to explain our feelings and emotions. At its core, it is a branch of psychology that delves into the complex world of human emotions and feelings. It focuses on the influence of these feelings and emotions on social interactions, individual behaviors, and even broader societal structures. The origins of affect theory can be traced back to the late 20th century, championed by pioneers such as Sylvan Tompkins and Paul Ekman. Tompkins, in his seminal work, Affect Imagery Consciousness, proposed that emotions are biologically based and universal. Ekman, on the other hand, focused on facial expressions, arguing that they are a universal language of emotion. Over time, affect theory has evolved, incorporating insights from various fields such as sociology, anthropology, and neuroscience. This cross-disciplinary approach has enriched our understanding of human emotions and feelings, highlighting their complexity and diversity. Key theorists have played instrumental roles in shaping affect theory. Brian Masumi, for instance, introduced the concept of affect as distinct from emotion, suggesting that affect is a pre-personal intensity capable of influencing a person's state of being. Similarly, Eve Kosofsky Sedgwick and Adam Frank's work on shame and its sisters has shed light on how feelings can shape and be shaped by social norms and expectations. Another crucial contributor is Teresa Brennan, who posited the idea of the transmission of affect. This theory suggests that emotions and feelings can be transferred from one person to another, influencing their emotional states. Drawing on these diverse perspectives, affect theory has become a robust tool for understanding human emotions. It helps us appreciate the myriad ways feelings and emotions shape our interactions, decisions, and experiences. Whether it's the joy of a shared laughter, the pang of a sudden loss, or the simmering anger at an injustice, affect theory provides a framework to understand these diverse emotional landscapes. In essence, affect theory offers a lens to understand and interpret the range and depth of human emotions and feelings. Imagine the world of a social worker, filled with diverse individuals each carrying a unique bundle of emotions and feelings. In this realm, affect theory takes center stage. It's not just a theoretical concept to be discussed in academic circles, but a practical tool that social workers use daily to better understand their clients and provide effective support. Affect theory, in the context of social work, is all about understanding and responding to the emotional experiences of individuals. It acknowledges that our emotions are not just personal and internal, but they are also shaped by our interactions with others and our wider social context. For instance, consider a social worker dealing with a teenager who has been exposed to violence at home. The teenager's emotions, such as fear, anger, or sadness, are not just reactions to the violence, but also reflect their interactions with family members, peers, and even societal norms. As a social worker, understanding this emotional landscape through the lens of affect theory can provide valuable insights. Let's take another scenario. A social worker assisting a family dealing with poverty. Here, affect theory can help the social worker understand how the family's economic situation influences their emotions and interactions. For example, the stress of financial hardship can lead to feelings of despair, which in turn can affect family dynamics and relationships. In both these scenarios, affect theory aids social workers in navigating the complex emotional terrains of their clients. It equips them to respond effectively to the individual's emotions, build stronger relationships, and ultimately provide better support. Affect theory also reminds social workers that their own emotions and effects are part of the equation. They too are influenced by their interactions with clients and their own social context. This awareness can help them manage their own emotions, prevent burnout, and maintain their effectiveness in their role. So to sum it all up, Affect theory is not just about understanding emotions. It's about understanding how emotions are intertwined with our social interactions and contexts. It's about acknowledging the power of emotions in shaping our experiences and our interactions with others. So for social workers, affect theory is not just a theory but a practical tool that can transform their work. Now let's bring affect theory closer to home. 
how does it show up in our everyday lives? Imagine you're walking down a busy street when suddenly a car horn blares loudly. Your heart jumps. That's effect theory in action. The sudden noise triggers an automatic unconscious response, a surge of adrenaline. This isn't something you consciously control, it just happens, a prime example of effect theory at work. Or consider a more subtle example. You're in a meeting at work and your colleague makes a sarcastic remark. You might not even realize it, but your body reacts. A tightening in your stomach, a quickening of your breath. These are your body's effective responses, indicating discomfort or annoyance, even before your mind has fully processed the situation. In personal relationships, understanding effect theory can be transformative. Let's say your partner comes home from work in a foul mood. You might feel a change in the room's energy, a palpable tension. This is your body picking up on their effective state, and it impacts how you respond to them. Effect theory, therefore, helps to explain the complex web of interactions between our bodies, feelings, and the world around us. It's not just about understanding our own reactions, but also about recognizing the effective states of others, thereby enhancing our empathy and interpersonal relationships. As we can see, affect theory is not just an academic concept but a part of our daily experiences. So, we've journeyed together through the fascinating world of affect theory. As we wrap up, let's revisit the key takeaways. Affect theory, at its core, is the study of emotions and their impact on human behavior. It's a lens through which we can understand the intricate dance between feelings and actions. In the realm of social work, this theory plays a pivotal role. It helps professionals understand how emotions drive behaviors, influencing decisions and interactions. A social worker, armed with the knowledge of affect theory, is better equipped to empathize, connect, and provide effective support. And it's not just in social work. Affect theory is everywhere in our daily lives. It's in the joy we feel when we see a loved one, the frustration when our plans go awry, the relief when we solve a problem. It's in every emotion we experience. As we navigate through life, understanding effect theory equips us with the ability to comprehend our feelings and the feelings of others. So keep exploring, keep learning, and remember, every emotion tells a story.